In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a text-to-speech software called Blakeify. Blakeify allows you to use a simple interface to input text or blog posts, and it will automatically convert it to robotic style voices, which are actually not too robotic. Now, they are running a limited time deal. I think it's for the launch or perhaps they're doing some sort of promotion at the moment. And the lifetime deal is $67, which is actually really cheap considering you get unlimited characters, unlimited voices using the standard and the AI feature and you also get access to free future upgrades as well as unlimited downloadable mp3 files. I'll go ahead and leave a link below. Let me head over to Blakeify and show you how it all works. Here we are in the Blakeify dashboard and what's really cool it shows you how many characters you've used for preview, how many characters you use for production and how many voice files you've actually generated. Look I'm actually feeling a little lazy today so I'm gonna go ahead Ahead and invite my good friend Matthew to take over from here. Marty, that will be no problem at all. Welcome to Marty Englander's YouTube channel. My name is Matthew and I'm going to take over from here. Marty, would you mind if I invite Jenny into this Blackify review? I'm sure our viewers would like some variation of voices. Yeah, no worries, Matthew. I actually really like Jenny. Hey, Matthew. Thank you so much for the invite. I think adding variation of voices to this video is a great idea. Marty, can you do me a quick favor? I need you to do a quick demo of how our voices are created. As much as our viewers like variations, I think you should show them how easily this software is to use. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually a good idea, Jenny. I mean, I, I am doing the review after all. Uh, so, you know what? Let's head over and do the text-to-speech tool. I'm going to show you guys how uh, this actually works. It's really simple. As you can see in front of me, we have the text-to-speech option right here. This is where all the magic happens. You can actually select whatever language you want to convert it in. So, uh, there's quite a few languages here. I'm going to go ahead and just do English US. Now, it changes from what any engine style, so standard or AI voice. Standard means that you need to input all of the speaking rates and the uh, general tone of everything and pauses and stuff like that. AI makes everything really simple. It basically does all of that for you and it uses artificial intelligence to flow nicely. Scroll down and let's go ahead and choose a voice. So as you can see, you've got a nice variation here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do male Joey and the title helps you distinguish the audio file. So I'm just gonna do test and then right here under text, you can either enter your own text or you can copy and paste from a blog, whatever is best for you. Scrolling down, you'll have these two drop downs here and very simply output volume it will dictate how loud or soft spoken the voice is and then next to it is the speaking rate so how fast or slow you want it to talk uh, I'm just gonna leave everything at default and the preview button like it says in the button will do up to 150 words and you also have these two little options here add pause or clear text so for example let's say I want to add a pause between hello just go ahead and do add one second pause and you can actually change this to two second three second or however long but I'm just leave it at one and if you wanted to clear text just go ahead and click the clear text and then we're going to go ahead and do synthesize to file that you've got that file right here and you can go ahead and play it download it or delete it now what's really cool as well is that you can go ahead and press the play button and then do view text and that will take you back where you can start customizing the text, copy and paste it, and even a file for other people to download if you desire for them to do it. Excuse me. Um, yeah? Hey Marty, sorry for the interruption, but my good US female friend Jenny had to go get her COVID jab, so she asked me to fill in for her. Is that good with you, pal? Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Good, good. Glad to hear. My name is David, and I am from Australia. Jenny told me you've showed our watchers the text-to-speech feature, but have you shown them the document-to-speech option yet? Well, I was about to, and then you kind of popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'll let you get on with it. Um thanks i guess okay so before we were so rudely interrupted the next option is called document to speech it's a very similar 
interface where you choose your language. So let's just go ahead and do UK this time. Go ahead and do AI voice. I'm gonna go ahead and do Amy, just leave it at that. And then we have two options. We can either enter our text like you saw before, or we can upload the file. Personally, I actually prefer um, just pasting the text. Here is a document uh, that I created. It's very short, but I just wanted to keep the point. Um, and one of the annoying things of this software is new, so they'll probably fix it, but when you upload documents, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload this document, and then upload document like so, you can see it doesn't keep the formatting of what it is in the document. That's why I just like to copy and paste like so, and then it keeps it. And then you just do, uh, again, you create your title, and you can change your outputs and all of that, and then you can do preview. Okay, and then when you're done, you just go ahead and do size to file. You have that document like so. And again, you can download it or view it however you want. I am so sorry for the interruption. Really? Again? You guys keep interrupting. I think you've forgotten about the most important tip you can give when using text-to-speech softwares. No, I've not forgotten. I'm just working my way up to it. <laughs> Oops, in my defense, you were going a little slow with things. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks for that. Like, are your viewers even watching anymore, or have you put them to sleep? I'll tell you what, Marty. I will give the quick tip, and then you can finish things up cool. Okay, go on then. Coolio. When it comes to text-to-speech softwares, the biggest reason these software will or won't work for you is always down to one thing. Punctuation and grammar. If you ensure you have all the full stops, spaces, and commas in the correct places, your audio will flow nicely. Touch it up with a bit of background music and boom. You have yourself something pretty realistic. Let me repeat the last two sentences without punctuation and grammar. Here we go. If you ensure you have all the full stop spaces and commas in the correct places your audio will flow nicely. Touch it up with a bit of background music and boom, you have yourself something pretty realistic. It's often the minor things that make the difference. Anyways, I am going to grab myself a drink. Marty, take over for me. Okay, thanks Clara. Actually what Clara was saying is true, which is punctuation and grammar really makes a massive difference. So, you know, sometimes if you're not getting the desired effects, just have a look at your grammar and punctuation, read it out loud and see if it actually flows for humans reading it. Because if it doesn't, then it's not gonna flow nicely when a robot's reading it either. As of today, there's been a new feature called My Music. In this section, you can actually add custom music to your uh, voices. So let's go ahead and just do test again select a file so this will show all of the uh, text that you've actually created i'm going to go ahead and just do the latest one upload background audio you can decide how loud or not loud it is i'm just going to do apply background and within a few seconds it's done let's go ahead and play it the 11 easy steps to become a successful content writer want to be a content writer if you want to become a successful content writer. And there we have it. This is a Blakeify review. I do hope you enjoyed the way I did this. All of the voices used are directly from Blakeify and I just thought it's a bit of a better way. Often it can be quite boring just to stop and start and listening to all the audio and everything. So hopefully uh, you actually gained an idea of just how powerful this software is. I have to admit, I've gotten quite a few reviews using all different sorts of text-to-speech uh, softwares that you can find on my channel. However, Blakeify in terms of value for money and just ease of use, interface, and you know, just overall the credits is definitely the most value for money of what I can see so far and the fact that as of today when I started creating this video they made an update with the my music shows that they're actually taking this seriously and it's not just a cash generator for them they're actually treating it like a business um, so like I said you can purchase this for $69 the lifetime version which is ridiculous using the link below thank you for watching any questions go ahead and leave them below and I'll see you next time